Judy, there have been a lot of changes lately, and I've been having a lot of big feelings about it. When those big feelings come up, my mom reminds me that all feelings are okay, and it's important to notice them in my body. How does your body tell you that you're having a feeling? When I'm feeling angry, I notice that my body starts feeling really tight. My heart beats fast and my whole body feels really hot. And when I feel sad, my body feels heavy and slow. Sometimes I cry and I wanna curl up with my mom. My mom taught me that the first step in feeling better when I'm having big feelings is to notice how my body is telling me and then I can take better care of it. I hope that you'll start noticing what your body is telling you too so you can start feeling better too. I miss seeing all my friends but I know I can take care of my body and I'm really happy about that. Thank you, Pandy Paws, for that wonderful message. Good afternoon, friends, and thank you for joining another one of FCPL's virtual programs. While our branches are closed, we hope you and your family are enjoying these daily programs, including our story times every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. on Facebook, as well as a wealth of adventures found on our website at fcpl.org. May is Children's Mental Health Matters Month, and today we have a special treat, a relaxing concert for all ages with harpist Diane Youngkins of Wisdom Works Counseling. She's going to bring us of compassion and some self-care tips, as well as some calming music that is very beneficial for any anxiety that you might be feeling at this time. So sit back and enjoy. And thank you, Diane, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It is such a pleasure. You know, I um, have played the harps at some of the libraries around the county. And so all of my harps have been in libraries. And what I want to say is I miss having the open libraries and the connection with people that way. But this is kind of exciting and new. And so in this time, it is an opportunity to connect with people who might not be in a, able to go to the libraries. And I'm thinking of my friends in nursing homes or my friends who um, were in daycare sometimes and couldn't get to the library, you know? And so this is such a cool way to connect. So I really thank you for inviting me. What I want to start off with is, you know, uh, was it Pandy Paws? Yes. Yeah, that was a really good way to start because we're talking about anxiety today and we're talking about self-care and we're talking about compassion and dealing with our emotions. Goodness, that's a great way to deal with ourselves compassionately. So what I want us to think about as we work together this morning, actually it's afternoon, um, is what brings us um, greater ease, what brings us comfort. Because right now some of us might be feeling like we're missing our friends or going out to doing the kinds of things that we usually do. And so how do we take care of ourselves when things have changed? So it's, it's you, you guys may be really familiar with this. We take care of our bodies and we take care of our minds. And I don't know what your word is, but I'm going to call it, we take care of our essence, our spirit, our soul, whatever word that is. There's a core part of ourselves here that that deepest part is actually really important to attend to too. And so music can do this in all of those ways. So I want to tell you a little bit about some self-care tips. And um, they're, they're, I brought my pillow. My pillow is for comfort. And it's got musical notes on it. And a family member made that for me. And they know that if I can't be there to hug them, I can hug a pillow that they made. So that is such a great way to connect, but maybe you have something else. Maybe you have a pet that you can pet. Kitties purr. There's uh, dogs. 
pant and you can feel their breath. You know, so ways of connecting with others can be very simple. But we also have this great thing called an imagination and libraries are so good at providing information about stories. Stories help us tap into imagination, but so does music and they work together. So one way to think about this is in our minds, we can create our own happiness. We can create a way for our bodies to relax. And for anybody who's been really tense, you're probably hearing this and say, uh-huh, right, Diane. But the truth is that we can train our minds. And so I, and, it, and of course, our minds reside in our bodies. So it goes together. So one of the things that I would like to start with is I have a little tiny harp and we're going to do two things because what we're talking about in terms of um, navigating these times is balance in life, whether it's balance in how much we take in like water. We might need, if we're thirsty, we might need some water, but maybe we've had a lot of water and we just don't need any more water. And there's a balance. We know what that feels like, no more water. Same thing with nutrition. What would be good for our bodies that's healthy? We want balance, right? Um, and so movement is another piece. And for some of us, um, maybe the parks have been closed or the swing, you know, they're just opening up. And so what do we do in terms of anxiety and balance in our bodies? So the very first thing I'm gonna have us do, you're gonna say, this helps with anxiety? But I learned this recently. And let me get my little heart. And so I'm gonna introduce you guys to Joy. And Joy, my little, my littlest harp here, is actually a really important part of my work. Joy um, really doesn't play anything that's not in harmony. So what we're gonna do is um, one way to deal with anxiety is to actually shake it out. Can you imagine that you would be, you would, you would think relaxation, right, for anxiety, but actually we wanna, it's a balanced thing. So sometimes we have extra energy. So we're gonna start with that so that if we have extra pent up energy, we can shake it out. And so we're going to do the whole body. I'm, uh, because of the camera and where I'm, how I'm set up, and I'm playing the, the little harp, a reverie harp here. Um, I want you to use your imagination and follow along with me. So we're going to, I'm just going to strum fast, and you're going to shake. And we're going to just do this for, let's try about a minute. And uh, you're going to start with your feet, work up your legs, your hips, uh, your your middle section, waist, shoulders, hands, shake them out and roll your neck and your head. And we're just going to do this for a minute. And the reason we're going to do this by shaking it out, it actually releases energy, makes us feel good, has feel good chemicals, the endorphins kick in, and that helps us actually relax. So we're going to just do a pretty good pace here. Shake, 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 shake. body for a moment. Do you feel emotions? Do you have physical sensations? 
how do you feel in your essence of who you are? The core of who you are. Sometimes we use words like, did you come home to yourself, your full self? Inhabit your full self. Be completely alive. So if you're feeling any tinglies or any energy here, um, and you're like, well, that doesn't feel relaxing. No, you're feeling alive. And that's okay too, because those are those endorphins that feel good, that help us really in the long run here, relax and move that energy and strong emotions sometimes through our body. If we're shaking at home, one of the recommendations is to do this for six minutes to some really fun music that's energetic. Then give yourself two minutes to feel the aliveness and then have a dance party if you're at home or at work, you know, you can do this however it feels good. But the six minutes of shaking actually helps discharge nervous energy. So to come home fully into ourselves and discharge that energy is a great gift. Now we're gonna do something a little differently. And so the pace is gonna slow down a little bit and mellow out. And we're gonna use joy again. And I don't know if you heard this, but one side, feels like it kind of lifts up and this one kind of it, it, it's a note below ends on a note below and so what that does is from a musical perspective the way I think of it is resolve creates a little mild tension that's how life is a little tension a little movement in that way and this is a little movement in that way resolve so the way we're going to do this is we're going to breathe in a soft belly breath with this and out on that. Ah, in, out. You can even make little breath sounds if you want to be dramatic. And then just allow the vibration of the in and the out, breathing at your own pace, because I was kind of setting the pace and that might be fast for some people or slow for some people. But just to hold that in your mind as you in and out. And the point of this is coming home to yourself, your full self, Allowing your feelings and emotions to be there. Allowing your body sensations to rise and fall there. They're going to be there. We're, we're all here. And then to breathe in and out and soften. One of the opportunities that we have at any moment is to come back to our breathing and check in with our body and say, am I tense? Which is kind of that anxious stuff. Can I let it go? Well... And the other thing that we can do with the in-breath is that we can say something that we want to bring in that's a good thing, a happy thing. Sometimes it could be, oh, love. I love my family. Letting go of the tension of my brother that whatever he did, you know. Goodness. Release of things I don't want to carry, our worries I don't need anymore, you know? Goodness, release of the stuff I don't want to be with anymore that I can let go. And so that can help us relax. And so I'm going to take you on a little bit of a journey with music. And the, the piece here I want you to think about is I'm, Agnes is my big heart back here. And again, she's been to libraries before. And I want to point out that on the sound post right there is a mask. She's wearing her mask as a, a partner with us in these times. And my uh, sister-in-law actually made that. And so I wanted to honor her for making that for 
for me and for being able to share that with Agnes as we do this work together uh, around relaxation, using our imagination to allow our minds to create. That's what we're doing is we are creating the kind of imaginal world, imagination story, if you want to go and use that word, with music. So I'm not going to tell you what to think or feel or anything. This is meant for you to say, where does the music take me? And everybody's going to have their own experience of that. And so I hope that you enjoy a relaxing journey. Um, and one thing to think about as you do this is, are there favorite colors that you want to bring with you on the journey? Are there favorite um, toys that you want to take with you on the journey? Are there tools that you want to take with you on this journey or friends? You know, if we aren't seeing our school friends, maybe you want to meet them in this imaginal place. Okay, so I will start playing music and I'm going to actually ask for help keeping me kind of on time, Deb. Thank you.
Diane, thank you so much. Ah, that took me off to fairy tale land for sure. Thank you so much for bringing us this message of uh, hope and relaxing music and just ways that we can just relax our body whenever we're feeling anxious. And thank you all for watching today. Look for more exciting virtual programs at fcpl.org. And get ready, because soon we will be signing up for the Summer Reading Challenge starting June 1st. Have a great day.